Right, we're going to move on to some basics of throwing now. Uh, maybe just spend a couple of minutes just talking to your parents about how we can do an underarm throw for the young ones and older ones, how we do an underarm and maybe how we do an overarm as well, because we practice this lots at school. All right, so all you'll need is your homemade bean bag or your socks, or if you've got a small ball as well, it's brilliant. All right, so just have a couple of minutes and then we're going to move on. Like I said, keep our running ladders. We're not going to use them just yet, all right, but we'll use them in a second. Now, I'll show you with a tennis ball second. No, I won't. I'll show you with my bean bag. Okay, so hopefully our little chat. All right, so underarm, very basic. Okay, we want to point to our target. All right, we want to face where we're trying to throw. And then our arm comes back fairly straight, swing. And then we should release roughly where our pointing hand is. Okay, nice and easy. Overarm, the old ones, but we have done this young ones as well, so we can all join in, if you can. If you haven't got the room, okay, don't go and break anything in the front room, because I don't want to be to blame. All right, so overarm, we'll use the tennis ball, okay. We have our hand up higher, remember? And we're not facing like this now and throwing. What we're actually doing is going to more side up, all right? And our arm's up high, and we point towards our target, and then we release roughly just past our ear. All right. Again, just basics, all right? If you can be outside, then maybe you can throw over arm a bit more and that'll be brilliant. Now, just spend a couple of minutes practicing underarm throws, especially, like I say, I'm gonna do mainly underarm so, and just aim for either a partner or a, part of, uh, a spot on the floor, okay? And just practice trying to land in the same spot for me, all right? Now, practice with your right hand or the other, and then make sure you swap. No matter how tricky it is, make sure we practice throwing with both hands, okay? Now, I'm sure you're all ready for a challenge straight away, so now we're going to move back to our running ladders. Now, I might go out a shot a second, all right? And we're going to use these for our game now. But what I want you to do is go about three steps, maybe further if you want to, if you've got room, away from the ladder. And I expect you've guessed what we're trying to do. I want you to try and throw and land your item in the runs of the ladder. Remember the runs are called the space that we've made. All right, now, what we're trying to do in this game is start, is start sorry, and land in the first run. Then when you pick your item up for a bit more fitness, can you run through the ladder? Can you run back? And then you're back to your throwing spot. Remember, you're not really close to the ladder when you're throwing. You're back about three steps away. Now, I've landed in this one, so now I'm going to move to the middle. Okay, so I'm going to point, swing, land, ooh, just run through, pick it up, and run back. Now, my ladder's only got three gaps. You can make it longer, okay? And the idea is, obviously, to get to the end. When you get to the end, run back through, then maybe try with your other hand. So I'm right-handed, so now I'll try with my left. Okay, and then we start here, all the way through, all the way back. If you've got someone with you, you can do it as a challenge, see if you can do it first. Um, you can time yourself, see how fast you can go. But remember, you've got to do it in order. You might want to, once you've done it once, can you start from the furthest away? Land it in there, then land it here, and land it here. All right, so hopefully that'll be a bit of fun. Give it a go. Remember, change your items. You can still use a ball and just say, as long as it bounces in, that counts, that's fine. Um, and make sure you use both hands, all right? Like I say, you can make the ladder longer. Um, that should be about that. All right, see you in a bit.